Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. So we're out here in San Francisco Bay today. I got my friend Kevin with me. He let me know he had never caught in a halibut before. And this is actually his first time in San Francisco Bay. So I wanted to take him out here. If you guys remember, he took me on his boat for the opener for the salmon. And one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed was with him. It was with some live sand dabs. We dropped them down for Link Cod. If you guys haven't seen that video, you gotta check it out. It has an underwater camera, Link Cod grabs it. But anyways, back to today. We're using a, a frozen anchovy on a halibut rig. Use it from Pitbull Tackle. And then we got a herring on the other one. So we're gonna try one of each. And the pole I'm using today is from uh, Kuma. It's the PCH Custom. I'll have a link in the description on that model. And then the uh, Akuma Komodo Reel. So we're gonna go ahead and get dropped down here and let's get on some halibut. All right, so we're gonna drop our lines in now. See how our speed looks and our bait. So the water's a little dirtier right now because we're at the bottom of the tide. It's just starting to come in. So that's ideal for fishing for halibut. I like fishing, basically we have the whole morning for incoming tide and top of the tide is about 12. Uh, basically like two hours before high tide and hour after is the times I want to target these fish in the bay here. So I don't know if you can see my bait there. It has a nice roll on it. It's kind of hard to see because the water's so dirty. But I'm feeling pretty good how that's looking right now. Good speed, I'm gonna lower it down. Probably about 18 feet deep here. So we're gonna hit the bottom. Make sure we're fishing along that bottom there. All right, Kevin, how's the heron looking? I think I need to get a little more bend on it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. See how it has that lazy yeah, just rotation? Good. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what you want there. You just get a little flutter. Okay. Totally different than salmon fishing. <laughs> you know, salmon, salmon fishing, you're looking for that, yeah. that fast spin. Yeah. With the halibut, you're looking for some nice, lazy roll. What you want is a consistent roll. All right. Remember, it seems like whenever you go, I'm jumping off. Oh, yeah, that one, that one. You gotta hit it. There's like a strike with it. Alright, first fish. Come off. Right there, exactly. Here it comes. It has a longer leader. Let's try to see what it is. Lift it up. A little help. Yeah, a little help. So we got an obvious undersize here. Alright. <laughs> nice. Huh? Kinda cool looking. Yeah, right? really cool. He's got the little deals on it too. Oh, yeah, see nice. So there's shaker number two, because Kevin's never gotten a California halibut before. I'm gonna let him keep going on these until he can get a keeper and there sure is a lot of shakers out there this year, which is good signs for years to come. There's number three. All right, we just moved a little bit deeper water, 16 feet now. We're fishing in about 10, 11 feet to start. Three shakers. Where's the keeper at for Kevin? We'll keep trolling here. Hopefully that big one bites soon. Water's pretty dirty. It's been really windy the last few days, some rain. So I think that's uh, Kind of making this water clarity not as good, but hopefully as the tide keeps coming in, water clarity goes up and these fish get hungry. went back down on the floor. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right. Think we've got Kevin as first keeper. At least we're hoping the gaff's out. <laughs> All right, so I'll just start lifting. Okay. Come on. Nope. A little one. Jeez. Darn it. All right, well, number four on this rod. Hopefully it's finally a keeper, but I don't have my hopes up. 
Another 1920-incher. Number five. Oh. That, that looks five good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, here we go. Same as the rest, or? Yeah, maybe. Oh, no. Hopefully. Oh, a little more weight on this one, right? Yeah, it's a little more. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely more. Oh, I'm gonna get the net. <laughs> He's close. Oh, this kind of just has his mouth open. Uh, I think it's too small. Yeah, it's too, too small. small. Yeah. He's like 21. 20, 20 yeah. Too short. Another one that has to go back. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this spot now. What was it, six shakers? I mean, you can see all these boats here. And we're staying because we're seeing every once in a while, someone else got a shaker, we're getting shakers. And then I told myself, I had not seen one good halibut caught yet here. Let's move, so that's what we're doing. Gonna go try and find some that are keeper size, hopefully. So we'll see you guys at the next spot. So we're in the new spot now, eh, probably two miles, three miles from where we were at before. Tons of bait here, we're the only boat. Feeling like this can be a spot where no one else is and we're catching them, but only time will tell. Let me go show you guys all the bait. Look at all that. That's looking super fishy. Bait looks like stripers or maybe even halibut on the bottom once in a while. Let's get Kevin a keeper. Yeah. You mind? Look at, look at that. You guys see that? That's a whale. I'm in the South Bay. I've never seen a whale in the San Francisco Bay before. Well, I don't know if it's lost or if it's just feeding on this bait, but. I guess either way, I'm just going to enjoy its company here. It's quite an amazing sight. Uh, I got one. Got it. I got one. No, you! Alright, let's go. Twenty feet. It can't be shakers here, right? <laughs> no. I don't think so. I think we got it. Posted six. Where's the silver? Let's hope. That's close, but it's. A, I think it's a keeper. I think it's a keeper. I think, I think we got our first keeper. Yeah. It's a keeper. What is he? 22 oh, and a half. <laughs> but it's for sure. There we go. It's for sure. There's one. Well, your first keeper, Kev, is the minimum. <laughs> <laughs> but we got one. It's a good sign. The next one will be big. And this is our uh, our window for that good yeah. good tide. So let's get on them. Oh, and it's funny because that was the anchovy. So I insisted Kevin get the first fish. I knew there'd be a bunch of shakers, and he would get the action. He would get the first keeper, and it would be smaller size, which is it's fine. It's his first one, you know. Because the second one's the big one. <laughs> that's what I'm predicting today. The second fish, and that's the one I wanted. So you guys ready? I got the next one and it's going to be the big one. My personal best is 34 inches. Let's go for it. We're beating that right now. 
So that one took the anchovy when we had like six in a row on herring. So I went back to this when the new spot, happy I did, it got the keeper. All right, well, I just turned the camera off after saying I'm gonna get the second fish, it's gonna be a big one. And instantly Kevin's on and hands me the rod. Feels decent. Dude, two in like five minutes. Oh, I know. I told you. Then go right back over that spot. You marked it, right? On. Well, I didn't mark this one. We marked the first one. All I right. see. All right, here we come. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. There you go. Not the 34 incher, <laughs> but that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. Good job. Well, back to back fish. We got no lines in. Funny how that happens, huh? <laughs> so, what do you do when you're just bleeding them? Yep. Just cut the gills right now. That was obviously a, a keeper, you know? Yep. Yeah. Right when, right when we saw it, we're like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Dude, we found them. Yep. Nobody else over here either. So let's get a measure on mine. I said 27. I think it's about that. Let's stick with that guess. And yep. 26 and a half. I want to take a moment to thank you all for watching my videos. You know, they all get about 10,000 views now on average, and that's crazy for me to think about. And I want to thank all of you again for watching. Um, with, you know, all that support really keeps this momentum going, uh, gives me motivation to, I uh, want to make more videos for you guys to watch. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate if you did. Um, it's free to do so. About two thirds of my views are from people who haven't subscribed. Um, so the best way to support me is subscribe, Give the video a thumbs up, comment. I love the comments, I love reading them, I love responding to you guys. Um, so yeah, if you're enjoying the content and you wanna say thank you, that's how you can do it. All right, let's go back to the video and catch some more halibut. Is that action down there right now, the way it's bouncing off the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it's bouncing off the bottom. is going on be careful with that thing that could be a white sea bass or a shark dude that's a big fish whatever's going on right. we're in neutral yeah this is a good one yeah i'm glad you're doing gaffing and netting and not me white sea bass is it dude walk backwards slowly Lift that weight up. Or a huge striper. It's a huge striper. It's a striper? Yeah. Oh man, I thought it was a white sea bass. <laughs> Optimistic fishing. I, I called out white sea bass. <laughs> saw the white shadow, but it's just a huge striper. <laughs> then it hit me. I was like, oh, it could be a striper. But it's just so big. You don't see them this big out here. thing is huge. <laughs> you trying to eat that? Well, no, I'm one. just asking you, we'll release it if you don't want to. Oh, I don't know. It's up to you. I get just get a picture and release it. It's bleeding bad. Huh? It's bleeding yeah. bad. Oh well, yeah, if he's gonna die, I'll eat him. It looks like it is. Alright. I mean, this guy's bleeding really bad. It obviously swallowed these hooks and its oh, gills. Oh man. They got big teeth or no? No, they have no teeth. It's just the hooks on one watch. They're very good eating. Oh, I just broke the line, dude. Okay. 
there's troubles in there. Oh, I heard something like this. Yeah, there you go. So how big you guys think this fish is? Unfortunately, it got a new scale because the last one broke and I don't have a battery for it. But, man, 33, 34. Yeah, 33 inches. Oh no, they're eggs. Oh yeah, holy cow. Dude, look at these. So this thing's gonna go up the river and spawn. It's just eating here. So look at that worm. Oh damn. That's, that's a parasite. Eggs are so big. Look at all eggs, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, dang, I mean, look how many eggs that is. All right, here's its belly. I think it's full of anchovies. Oh yeah. What do we got? Herring. Oh shit, that's a big one. Those are schools of herring down there. Interesting, huh? What is all that? More herring. No, go for it. I don't care. Huh? Go for it. I want to gaff it. Right, this is a halibut. Oh, shit. Oh, You see the big one, they'll fool you sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully. Come on, baby. It's a, it's a halibut. It's a halibut. Because it's, it's vertical. It's got to be a keeper. Oh yeah, I know it's vertical. That's why I know it's a halibut. Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. He's keeper. He's right? a keeper. Yeah. Yeah. It's not huge, but whatever, dude. Oh. He's 24. Probably, huh? Yeah, 24. All right, let's give this guy a measure. Thinking 24, 25. There we go. 20. Oh, push them up against there. 24 and a half. All right, another good one. All right, so we got three halibut in the bag now. The nice big striper. We're looking for one more keeper halibut so we can each get two. That's the plan right now. Hopefully we can do it. We still got a pretty good bite, it feels like. So confidence is high. All right, I told Kevin to grab the gaff. I might be a little optimistic, but let's see. <laughs> no gaff needed. Oh, I got one orb in the ground. Great. Huh? Actually, maybe a little weight on this one. Come on, we need a keeper here. Hard to tell with that weight. Keeper? Uh, net, net. Net? Yeah. I think it's a keeper. All right. Oh, that's very good. You have to delete that. Oh, it came off. <laughs> Dude! God, I'm sorry. Well, the bite sure went away like predicted. It's uh, you know, two, three o'clock, getting in the middle of the outgoing tide. And I mean, we had an outstanding bite. Everything was, everyone's hooking up, nets are flying, we're getting hit. And then boom, it's off. I was telling Kevin about that. It's just, 
First time out here halibut fishing, and I was sure right, huh? Unfortunately. <laughs> you were. So, I mean, there's a commercial guy, he's heading in. So, I think that means it's time. What a catch out here today, though. Three halibut, the huge striper. Excited for Kevin to uh, try his first California halibut with yeah. delicious fish. It was an thank awesome you. time. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah it's fun. So they, they cook uh, very fast, so yeah. don't overcook them. Okay. That's the tip for the halibut. So heading in now, beautiful day out here in the bay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys. All right, well I just met all these wonderful gentlemen at the uh, cleaning the boat here. So thank you guys for all your support of the channel. Right on, Chris. It was fun, fun talking to you guys. All right, see you guys back on the water.